Cross to the uh, javelin for the men's F44 class. Good throw this one from the man from uh, Trinidad Tobago, which is uh, Akeem Stewart. Akeem Stewart with a, a best of 54 77. And 56 64. So it's a new world record, <laughs> he said, in the first round of over 57. Men's 5,000 metres, T54. This the second heat to produce three more finalists. And hook apart. This is an immensely strong field. Rawat Tana, the reigning Asian Games and world champion from Doha last year. He's been winning major championships since the 2002 Worlds at the Stade Metropole in Lille with those world championships. Right alongside Rawat Tana, the silver medalist from London 2012. Three Paralympic titles, four world champions. For Australia, it's Kurt Fernley. Jorge Madeira of Spain. Julian Casali of France, who won bronze behind Weir and Fernley at London 2012. The Pan Am champion, Daniel Romanchik of the United States. Hong Suk Man of Korea. The 400 meters Paralympic Games champion in Beijing 2008. Le Chair of Switzerland, James Sembeta of the United States. Liu Yang of China. Koso Kubo of Japan. So away we go, 10 in this heat. The top three plus the next four fastest to go through overall. Shooting away very well at the start is Liu Yang of China. But it's Kobo, Liu, Sembeta, Lutcher, Hong, Romanchuk, Cassily, Madeira, Fernley and Rawat Tana. Kurt Fernley going on the outside straight away for Australia with Liu Yang on the inside for China. Bit of movement on the outside by uh, Rawat Tana, those uh, very familiar colours for Thailand. On the inside for Japan is Kozo Kubo, a man who also is a biathlete and a cross-country skier and very good at those. A bronze in Sochi at the Winter Paralympics 2014, world champion in the 2013 season, and also two bronzes in the World Championship cross-country skiing in 2013. But he's tried his hand at wheelchair racing. He didn't finish in Lyon in the World Championship Marathon in 2013 and in the equivalent in 2015, which wasn't held in Doha, but as part of the London Marathon, he finished 26th in that. Finally, he's had his run on the outside, leading the way at the moment for China is Liu Yang. So Fernley, two of his three uh, Paralympic gold medals coming in the marathon. So if you think 5,000 is a long race, Fernley doesn't mind it. He uh, really got his eyes set on the marathon, which will be on the last day of the competition and maybe That'll be retirement for him after a highly decorated career, but it's uh, China's Liu Yang who's taken over down the back straight in this uh, slightly larger second heat of 10. Certainly dropping back into fourth position. Uh, Liu Yang holding the front and quite uh, comfortably at the moment. And just behind him is Kozo Kubo. A little bit of movement now coming on the outside. Rawat Tana pounds very well for Thailand. As I say, they were incredibly successful in Doha in the wheelchair racing, in the 54s and the 53s, the two strongest, least impaired wheelchair categories at those world championships in Doha. And it is Rawat Tana who hits the front with... 10 laps to go. We see Jorge Madeira there of Spain from Granoyers, who finished sixth in the 5,000 metres final in the European Championships in Grisetta. And Fernley now is uh, tucked in nicely and comfortably in second place just behind Rawat Tana at the moment. In third place for Japan is Kozo Kubo. He's 35 years old. 
He's been very, very successful as a cross-country skier. And let's not forget that Tatiana McFadden uh, likewise has toyed with that a bit and has been quite good at it. A fantastic wheelchair racer she is. But Kurt Fernie down through the years has proved that as well, particularly in the marathon. He won the gold in the marathon back in 2008 in Beijing and in the World Championships in 2011 in Christchurch. And most recently, a silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in 2015. That is last major international championship medal. And he's our leader here with just under nine laps to go. So Fernley and Roatana of Thailand look like they want to be up near the front for most of this race. Fernley gave them a bit of a test about uh, 400 metres ago to see who would go with him. Uh, the Fernley and Tana, the only men this season to have raced under 10 minutes. So they look like they want to dictate the pace between them. That's Rowatana leads Fernley into the home straight once more with eight laps to go. Rowatana, who won at the Solheim in Hamad Stadium, the Dubai Sports Club, back in October, that brilliant world title success. Rowatana now gives way, and Kurt Fernley takes over the silver medal in London 2012 in this 5,000 metres. You'll see that Tana is still in a very solid position in second place. And for Japan, Kozo Kubo, he's done very well. Look how far out, though, Fernley has got. He doesn't want to do the legwork. He's done enough of that, to be honest. He's been up at the front, and he's telling the rest, look, I've had my spell at the front. You hit the front now. He went out to lane four, which is as much as a sign as you can tell that he didn't want to be there. It's 2.02. Rowett Tana hitting the front now. It's basically been between Tana and Fernley in the front, and nobody else has done their share. It means that it slowed things up considerably, and those in fourth, fifth, and sixth may be in a bit of bother when it comes to the end of the race in comparison to the Red and better. And Roman Chuck tucked behind for the United States. Seven laps to go, and it's Rowett Tana who still leads. And he pushes over, wanting Fernley to hit the front. And Fernley does hit the front, but honestly, like Rowett Tana, surely won't want to be there for very long, because if you're out the front, you're exposed, you burn up a little bit. He's out in lane two, so he's satisfied at the moment. The Japanese there, Kozo Kubo, has found himself placed in third for a lot of this, and the Chinese as well, Lu Yang, who's in fourth. Friendly, bit of a gap out of the front at the moment, but I'm not sure that's what he really does want to do personally. Tactically, a completely different race uh, to Heat One as uh, Fernley again drifts very wide to wait for somebody else to take up the <laughs> take up the race, and finally uh, Kubo does settle in and still beside him, and it's a very curious race now as uh, Liu Yang from lane one slides through to the front i don't think kurt fernley would be backward in telling his fellow competitors to do their share but uh, i don't know that they're listening where's he from again <laughs> you know he'll be forward and saying things but he, he pushed his way out into lane three and he was just gliding he was freewheeling there's big big trouble i will tell you now i don't think the racers who finished below the top three are going to get through. It's been very, very slow, this. It's been very tactical. Liu Yang is leading the way at the moment for China. There's going to be absolute hell to pay in the final lap or two of this because there will be Devil Take the hindmost. There will be the top three and perhaps nobody else. It's uh, Rowatana, the world champion, who's now sliding up in towards the lead. Kurt Fernley, man marking him all the way. Pushing up on the outside, five laps to go. 6.29, that lap was in 57.19, but they really are going to have to get a move on. It's not looking very bad for those who finished outside of the top three in the opening heat, the opening semi-final. Liu Yang is still up there in third place, Fernley in second, the Japanese in fourth, Kozo Kubo, but leading the way is Rao Tana, fourth Thailand, who's been winning major championships since the 2002 World Championships in Lille, the man from Bangkok. He's in front of Fernley. Liu Yang is in third place. Rowett Tana and Kurt Fernley haven't spent any of the race outside the top three, and mostly they've had the front two positions to themselves. So 50% of the hard work has been done by two men. Uh, Romanchak of the United States coming up along the inside. That's and better, four laps to go. So really... Uh, I've played about uh, half the, this uh, group out of the uh, out of contention. If it's as slow as we think it is, with only the uh, 
first three in each and the next four fastest to go through the four fastest might all come from the first heat it looks like Senbeta had enough and he made his move on the inside and he leads for the first time for the United States Rowett Tanner there for Thailand in second third is Fernley for Australia the uh, Japanese has just fallen back in towards sixth place now that's Kozo Kubo and in a fifth is uh, Romancha the other American Rowett Tanner slides back up into the lead again on the outside just pushing past and better Fernley doing the same we've got three laps to go now they're speeding up remember the winning time was 10 minutes 20 we've gone past 8 20 here with three laps to go it will be considerably slower Rowett Tanner has a little look moving up on the outside again Hong Suk Man for South Korea Kozo Kubo's remain up there as well. Hong Suk Man has won major titles before. Don't forget the 400 meters in Beijing 2008. He's in a good position. Rawat Tana still up there and Fernley. And it's slowing down again. Senbeta has had a nice run around that last bend. Sitting in the inside lane, doing a bit of coasting. The man from the United States now in fourth. And still Tana, then Fernley. A little bit of uh, jostling going on behind them, but uh, the plus side for Fernley and Tana is that they've been out of any traffic. The downside is they've been collecting the wind resistance. As, uh, down the back straight they go once more, and uh, so two and a half laps to go. And still Rowat Tana, happy to do the leading. Fernley, happy to sit behind him for the moment. And it could well be that only the first three out of this second heat make it. It's absolutely looking that way now as they come round the bend. And we've got 500 metres to go and the bell is on the way. And it's Rowett Tanner who's in the lead. Fourth Thailand as they hit the bell and Fernley's in second place. Hong Suk Man's making a push up finally up on the inside for the United States on the outside is Romanchuk who hasn't really featured much in the race. The other American on the inside, some betters made his move again. Major acceleration. It's Rawat Tan who's out in front. It's Fernley in second place. Looks like Hong Suk Man has gone with them in third and the rest look as if they're going to be nowhere at this point. It's Tana leading the way. It's Fernley and it's Hong. And the rest are going to be nowhere. It's only the top three automatically going through. Bit of acceleration from Liu Yang, but he may have left this too late. And Fernley has got a point to prove. Fernley's making a move up on the outside. And Fernley will take it for Australia. Fernley is through. Tana's through. Hong is through. 10.36.53. And they were all very close towards, bunched towards the end, but 10.36.53. A very slow winning time compared to the first heat. Fernley and Tana, Hong as well. No worries about those three. And they go through within half a second of each other. Fernley, Tana and Hong, the qualifiers, and the rest are all out. So the first heat won by hook in 10 20 17 this one 10 36 53 by fernley so fernley tana and hong sukman of korea going through and it does look like the rest can think about another race the castle of the season's best there in fifth place and lou moved up well in the end and fourth but they were really well out of it it was uh, Decent acceleration for a, a good while in the inside by some better. I don't think he uh, picked the right lap to do that. And in the end, the top three just shot away, going into the final straight. And finally wanted to win this race. Put one over and throw a ton, and he did. Now, finally finished fourth in the 5,000 metres. Well, champs of Finland, Doha, that Tana won for Thailand back in October at the Dubai, at the uh, Doha Sports Club. And he got a good victory in the end here in what is only effectively a semi-final. The 10.36.53, we can't really read much into the time. But it was a good personal race between these two in the end. And they were the two who were leading the way when nobody else wanted to take the story up at the front. Unlike in the other heat where everybody chipped in and I would make it the top seven all went through.
So Kurt Fernley making a personal point there, but it would look like both he and uh, Roatana have got more to give the way that race was conducted. So Kurt Fernley wins in 10.36.53. Tana in second, 10.36.61. And Hong Sukman in third for South Korea, 10.37.09.